Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be answering the question which you are all I'm sure wondering, how fast could a new Tesla Roadster accelerate to 60 miles per hour on the planet Mars? And why are we wondering this? Well, SpaceX sent out a rocket into space. They sent a Tesla Roadster on it, uh, kind of towards Mars. They aren't going to hit Mars. But let's say they try it again with a new Tesla Roadster, actually landed it on Mars. Well, suddenly now we all want to know, how fast can that Roadster accelerate to 60 miles per hour on Mars? So in order to figure this out, first of all, we need to know the frictional coefficient of the tires on the Tesla Roadster. So how are we going to figure this out? Well, the first thing we're going to do, we know that average acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time. And so this vehicle can accelerate to 60 miles per hour. So we're going to say that's our change in velocity, 60 miles per hour, otherwise uh, worded as 88 feet per second. We're just going to change the units there, uh, but that's 60 miles per hour. And Tesla says it can do this in just 1.9 seconds. So 1.9 seconds there. Now this will give us units in feet per second squared. We're going to divide it by gravity, uh, which is 32.2 feet per second squared. So we can get this kind of unitless. Um, it's going to be in G's. And so this will give us 1.44 G's. And now we're all happy because we're talking about G's and not some obscure American unit that nobody likes to talk about feet per second squared. 1.44 g's. Now this is equal to the tire's frictional coefficient. Wait, what? How, how does that happen? Okay, well, we know that the maximum force a vehicle can accelerate with is equal to the frictional coefficient multiplied by the normal force over the driven tires. Okay, we also know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. So we can set both of these equal to each other. So mu n equals m a. Now normal force, we can split that up and say that's equal to mass times gravity equals mass times acceleration. We can cut out the mass there. Now we have uh, frictional coefficient equals acceleration divided by g. And that's exactly what we just did here. A divided by g, and that gives us our frictional coefficient. 1.44 g's is our frictional coefficient. And there's how we proved that. Okay, well now we're going to Mars. And on Mars, what is gravity? So on Earth, gravity is 32.2 feet per second squared. On Mars, it's about a third, 12.18 feet per second squared. Okay, so now we're trying to figure out how fast can this thing accelerate to 60 miles per hour. So acceleration equals change in velocity over the change in time. The change in time is what we're trying to figure out. So change in velocity, 88 feet per second, just like previously, we're trying to hit 60 miles per hour. We don't know what time is. And what is acceleration? Well, acceleration is equal to the frictional coefficient multiplied by gravity. So our frictional coefficient is 1.44. Gravity is 12.18 feet per second squared. And we can solve for time. Time equals five seconds. Oh no, cars are pretty slow on Mars. That's uh, unfortunate for when, you know, if we ever do get there and start driving around, the cars are going to be a little bit slower. Um, and the simple way of doing this, you can just take Earth's gravity divided by Mars gravity and multiply by uh, the zero to 60 time, and that will give you this five seconds. Uh, but this shows you exactly how that's done. So now, all of you have that burning question answered for you. How fast could a Tesla Roadster accelerate 60 miles per hour on Mars? Uh, it would only take uh, five seconds. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.